Hey, what's up, guys? As you know, we just finished Final Fantasy IX on this channel. We did a full playthrough, and I'll have a video coming later sharing that experience with you guys from beginning to end. And now it's time to start the next game, which is going to be Final Fantasy XVI. I'm really excited to play one of the more modern Final Fantasy games, and I'm actually really excited for XVI because apparently XVI is pretty different from other Final Fantasy games in terms of RPG mechanics or lack thereof, and how cinematic it is, and apparently like how dark and violent it is. I do have a little bit of experience with this game as I played it on launch last year. I played the demo and I played like maybe the first five or six hours of the game. I'll be honest with you, I don't know anything that happens after the first three or four hours of this game and I don't really remember um, my experience last year with it that well, although I will say this had one of the most incredible demos I've ever played. I choose the reveal trailers because I think most of the time they, they spoil less of the game, so hopefully there's not anything too big in this trailer. I'm going to watch it, give my thoughts Let's talk a little bit about the game, what I've heard of the game, expectations, and maybe even some concerns. Here we go. Immediately very Your serious. Target, Shiva's dominant. Shiva's dominant. And only the dominant. Okay, I, I think if I remember correctly, like the dominant is the person that the sum, summon inhabits in Final Fantasy 16. How do we even know the girl will be a monk? Our kind do not question orders, we follow them. I love this, this battlefield Dodging. scene. Let's summon their icon. Okay, so they're, they're called icons in this game. That thing's a bloody mountain. Now, I'm sorry for all the pausing. I'm sorry. But I, I wanted to point out that this is Creative Business Unit 3. I believe this is their first time working on like a mainline non-MMO Final Fantasy game. This is the development studio that's in charge of Final Fantasy 14. Now, I don't really know anything about Final Fantasy 14. I've never really played it. I don't play MMOs. Not that I'm against it or anything. I just don't. I've never really invested time into an MMO before. So that's another reason I'm really interested in 16 is I want to see what the MMO team, I want to see what their take on a mainline, you know, single entry Final Fantasy game is like like and how it's different. It's funny because when I first heard that Yoshi P and Creative Business Unit 3 was working on Final Fantasy 16, I expected that it was going to have a lot more RPG mechanics in the game or, or that the RPG mechanics in Final Fantasy 16 would be different or expanded in some way, but apparently they cut back on that from what I've heard other people say. Shiva looks amazing. Oh! I did not remember Our that. will not relinquish their mother crystal easily. This will be a bitter fight. You should not be out of doors. We have discussed this. Come, Joshua. Your father will be expecting us. I love this setting, I the medieval Joshua setting. Shield. I'm sworn to protect him. Okay, here's combat. Your sword to our cause. This combat looks really good to me. It's interesting seeing one person instead of a party, though. It was the Dalmex who drove back the Crusaders in the Battle of the Twin Realms, was it not? <clears throat> Without the blessing of the Mother Crystal, we cannot defend our realm from the spread of the Blight. I love this music, too. Imperial. The 1v1 combat looks great, but I haven't seen anything with parties. Do you not get parties in Final Fantasy 16? I remember in the early part of the game you don't, but I, I don't know if that changes as you go. Vipers. Do they really mean to invade us? That was so so dirty bro even though i only remember the first like two or three hours of this game i can't wait to experience it again this had such a gripping opening to it man i, I can't wait to play that again i just hope it's able to maintain that that sense of um tension throughout the game they showed a little bit of the environment and i don't know how open world it is how much there really is to explore or how really linear this game might be it's the archduke's son phoenix yeah! 
voice acting is so good. Phoenix looks great. I still want to know what this is. I remember that. I still want to know what that is. Second light on the fire. But that's impossible. The legacy of the crystals. Shaped our history. Enough. So two things I want to say real quick. I love that there's so much focus on the summons in this game because I think the summons in Final Fantasy are so interesting. And one thing that I've seen my chat say in some of the other games that I've played, if you don't know, I've played seven, 10, pretty much all the seven games, 10 and nine so far. Uh, but there have been games I've played where chat was kind of disappointed that there wasn't a little bit more focus on the summons or that they weren't fleshed out more, etc. This game really seems to focus on them, although I don't know if that maintains through the entire game or exactly what role they play but they seem really important which i'm excited about i love the designs of them and i'm also interested in this text about the crystals i know that the crystals play a role in a lot of other final fantasy games i don't know if crystals play the same role throughout final fantasy or if they differ from game to game i have a feeling that they probably differ right so this statement about the crystals have controlled us or ruled over us long enough i don't really know what that means but that does kind of hook me in a little bit and i want to know more about what role that's going to play or what role these crystals are going to play in the story. Sick. Love his character design. If it's the last thing I do. Great voice acting again. That's a great trailer. I'm not gonna lie. That trailer makes me wanna play the game. Oh. <sighs> Exclusive, I uh, I hate this. I'm gonna be honest with you and, and I'm somebody that I, I've grown up with PlayStation. I've owned every system uh, or one, two, three, four, five. I never really owned a handheld system. Although uh, that Vita looks really cool. I would love it if they made a Vita too. Who knows? I hate that it was console exclusive though, because I just do not think these games, you know, look at Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I just kept wishing I was playing that on PC because the performance mode just wasn't that good on that game. And at 30 frames, it ran solid enough, but man, I would have just given anything to have been able to play it at, you know, a higher frame rate and still be able to keep a decent resolution. I don't know how 16's performance is in terms of, you know, resolution and uh, frame rate. I can't really remember. I think it had a performance mode, but I can't remember how good or bad it was. But man, I just wish, I think this game is coming up on a year since its release. We may have just hit it recently. I'm not sure, but I really wish it was on PC and that I could play it on PC for my stream. But it's, I'm here for the story. So it's, it's not like, it's not a make or break thing. And I'm glad that Square's moving away from this and moving towards multi-plat publishing with these games so that was the trailer and i thought it was great i loved it love the music love the tension love the presentation it's dark it's kind of almost got this like game of thrones feel to it it seems like there's going to be like some political intrigue and you know backstabbing and all kinds of uh really good uh story elements and narrative elements there that that interest me from the trailer and also at the very end it showed clive younger and then him older so i'm wondering if we get to experience his journey through life how much you know how much time do we spend with him when he's younger versus when he's older i'm not really sure and i don't remember that well but overall i think this was a good trailer they actually showed a couple of things in this trailer that i don't necessarily Necessarily think they should have uh such as uh the death of the the king or clive's father 
I can't remember his little Joshua, Joshua's father as well. I'm surprised that they showed that. Obviously, if I had never played the demo, I don't really think that would have spoiled too much for me. I think they just really wanted to get across that this is a mature Final Fantasy game, um, that it's it's bloody, it's brutal. And that's one thing that I am excited about. I do want to see their take on this, but I think my biggest concern is, are they able to keep that energy? Are they able to keep the player interested in the story and the characters through however many hours the campaign is? I know there's also two DLCs for this game, one that just uh, released recently, and I do plan to play those DLCs as well. So we are starting this on Wednesday, and in the pinned comment, I will leave a link to that first stream day one. Uh, I think uh, we're doing a cosplay for that. I think I've got a cosplay that I'm gonna, you know, try to do for you guys day one. Uh, and then later this week, we're gonna be doing Summer Game Fest. I hope you uh, enjoyed this reaction. I am excited for the game. I don't know if you've played it or not, but I hope that you will leave your thoughts on the game in the comments. Please avoid spoiling if, if you can. I'd love to just know where you think this game sits overall in the franchise were you disappointed with it did you enjoy it did you enjoy it for what it was what were what were it what was its strengths what was its weaknesses uh, I'm, I'm really interested to hear your thoughts so uh, I'll see you guys day one for Final Fantasy 16 until then take care